It's another raw video from your favorite YouTube scout, Draft Raw Authentic. Yes, I am here. And like I said, it's a raw video, so there will be no edits. Anyway, I got a surprise for you guys. I got Baltimore's own Virginia linebacker, my cousin, Micah Kaiser. Say what's up, Micah. Hey, what's up? What's up out there? Appreciate you having me on, bro. All right, thank you. Yeah, I um, finally got you on that phone, finally got you on an interview. I am, just want to say real quick, I am proud of you. Um, you know, the, what you have gone through, through the process that you've gone through, and now you're going to make it to the NFL and live your dream out, man. I am, like, so proud of you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate so, um, you know what? Um, let me, uh, real quick. When did you uh when did you graduate high school like and then went into uh UVA? What year was that? Uh, I graduated high school in 2013. Then uh that summer went to Virginia, so Yep. Okay. Okay. So yeah, around like 2014 is when I started like really getting into like scouting players coming out of college. Um and it wasn't until this past month I actually, uh, I started, you know, I did the YouTube thing and started just, you know, putting my info out there and what I think about guys coming out. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah. That's what's up, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, let's get to these questions. So, is there any player in the league right now that you kind of mold your game after? I wouldn't say I really mold my game after anybody, but I um I watch, you know what I'm saying, I watch who I like and who I think are the best. Um obviously I think I think Luke Keekley is the best linebacker right now. Um mm -hmm. very athletic, but he's also very smart. Right. And uh, if you just watch him pre snap, you know what I'm saying, you you'll see why he's such a great linebacker. Mm -hmm. He's doing so much communication pre snap and he's you know, he knows plays before they happen. Giving him extra steps, so just watching him is great. And then, you know, Sean Lee, when Sean Lee's healthy, mm -hmm. I think Sean Lee's, you know, one of the most dominant football players in the league. Mm -hmm. Very, very instinctual, has a, a great feel for the game. And so if I had to, you know, name two guys off the top of my head right now that I, I enjoy watching, it would be Luke Keekley and Sean Lee. Mm, I like those. I like yeah. those. I, I actually personally like Luke Keekley a lot. Yeah. I think, you know, he actually, to me, he's the best in the league right now. Yeah. Yeah. I um I also uh also like uh Bobby Wagner from Seattle. Uh -huh. Yeah, I yeah. I think yeah, those like they're very close to each other when it comes to like you know, the speed, the athleticism, and then the you know, the intellect. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, and, and and yeah, like you said, Sean Lee's not injured. Yeah. Yeah. When he's healthy, you know, Dallas is a, a whole other animal on defense and uh he got a real good feel for it, so I like watching him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that answer. Um, next, kind of in the same realm of the first question, um, is there any player that used to be in the league that you – well, not say mold your game after, but, like, that you really, really liked? Yeah, um, so obviously being from Baltimore, watching the Ravens growing up, you know, big Ray Lewis fan, mm. just – you want to talk about an athlete, you know, he was the best athlete on the field, but he was also just the best leader probably ever in the NFL. So just, you know, watching him, watching his impact, you know, um, when you talk about, you know, su su sustained success and sustained defensive success in the NFL, I think the Ravens defense is all, you know, they're the, they're the standard for a while, and that was mostly because of Ray Lewis. Right. And uh, his impact not only for, you know, the Ravens, but, you know, Baltimore as a whole, it was just unreal. So that was my favorite player growing up. Okay. Is um and and this third question is actually in the same realm as the first two as well. Um, is there any player right now in that's you know in the draft process right now that you like? Um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of great players. Um, everyone's once you start getting to this level, you know, everyone's really good and everyone's out there grinding for the same stuff but um you know i think 
when you talk about playing linebacker, you know, watching, you know, Roquan Smith, mm. you know, athletic, good player. Um, been able to play against Tremaine Edmonds a little bit, see what he can do, watch them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm-hmm. know that he's really good. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of great players. And um, just enjoy watching, you know, college football. I'm a fan of college football. So, you know, I know who's good and, and what's going on. So there's just a lot of great linebackers in this class. And um, just looking forward to see where everybody ends up. Yeah. I actually, um, me just doing my little work, I actually do like a lot of the guys that are coming out. Yeah. You know, and I watch, you know, like, because you, you know, you played at Virginia and then you got Tremaine at Virginia Tech, you know, so I knew you had to know about him a little bit or whatever. And yeah, I kind of like him too. He, uh, he shoots gaps pretty well from what I've seen. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I like those answers, man. Um, so next question on the list, uh, besides, you know, your head coach or probably even your defensive coordinator, um, was there any other coach on the uh, on UVA that you really really liked? Right now, I like I like everybody on the staff. Really, um, got a new staff came in um, before my junior year, so the new staff came in. I like them all, especially my linebackers coach, Coach Hunter. All really good people, and um, expecting nothing but success for the program moving forward. Okay. Okay, Coach, uh, what's his first name? Shane Hunter. Zane Hunter? Shane Hunter. Shane, Shane, Shane. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, all right. Um, all right, so let's just get into the next question. Let's get into some, you know, get into some real stuff right here. All right, uh, I don't know if you can actually mention anything about this, but... If if you can't mention the team, I, I you know I understand. But how many how many teams are interested in, in you in the NFL right now? Yeah, but between the Senior Bowl and the Combine and everything, I pretty much have in some form or shape, some shape or form, met with pretty much all the teams in the NFL. Um, had a few workouts last week. Um, some workouts coming up in the future. So I'm not really going to comment on who. Just keep my cards, you know. Right. Close, but um, yeah. So some teams are interested. Um, it's all about making that one team like you, and um, hopefully, you know, by the end of April, one team likes me enough to call my name. So that's all I'm, I'm hoping and praying for and working for. So. Oh, okay. I mean, is there like a, a a certain number that you can give of teams that seem really really interested in you? Like, is it like two, three, four, five, or you just the whole league pretty much in general? I mean, I would say a few teams right now are interested in me, but. You know, from from what I've heard from a lot of dudes, I know it always ends up being a team that you haven't really talked to at all that ends up, you know, calling your name. So, okay. you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let nothing like that stress me out or anything like that. So I'm just, you know, doing my best, knocking out some of these workouts with these teams and just uh, moving forward with it. Okay. Now, now talking, to, you know, kind of going into a little bit of that, I want to go into UVA a little bit, right? Yeah. Just real quick. Um. And I know you can talk about this because this that's already passed and gone. Um, how many college, how many colleges were interested in giving you a scholarship besides UVA? Yeah, I committed to Virginia pretty early. Um, I was the sixth person in my class to commit. So when I committed, I had probably like ten offers from schools like Oklahoma to mm. Florida to mm. Stanford to Maryland. So you know, I was pretty sought after recruit I feel like if I hadn't committed so early you know based off my my senior year I think I would have got more offers but you know it is what it is so I was was pretty pretty highly recruited I guess and and had my choice of places to go but I chose uh Virginia okay so um I mean you know Virginia is pretty close to home so the question is why not Maryland you know if (laughs) did they offer you before the Virginia one or was it like afterwards Nah, Maryland was very interested in me. Um, they were sending a lot of people to my school. Um, I had a really good class at Gilman, so they was recruiting, recruiting guys really heavy there. But, you know, it, just, it wasn't a fit for me. So, yeah, but that's a great place. I got a teammates that went there, and mm-hmm. um, teammates that still play there now. So, to each his own. Right, right, right. Yeah, I understand, you know, I understand about that. I understand. 
I mean, I don't like know, but you know, I can understand. Yeah. You know, you want to feel wanted. You know what I mean? I guess. Yeah, I, def- I definitely felt wanted there, but it just wasn't for me. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. Just the maybe atmosphere, I guess, or just yeah, yeah. comfortability yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. So, uh, what about like if you had a chance to go across country to play football? Like, would you have done that? Um, I, I visited out to um, Stanford with my dad. I went on a visit out there. Um, it was really nice, but um, like I said, you know, fit, fit, fit wasn't really for me. Um, that's a long way away to right. be in college. You know, my parents probably wouldn't get to go to all the games. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't see them that much. So, right. you know, UVA just ended up being the best as far as distance and comfortability and and, you know, best fit for me, so. So, pretty much the the localness of it, being that it's pretty close, was, you know, a huge a huge thing for you. Um, it, was a, it was a factor. I wouldn't say it was the biggest, but it was it played a role. All right, okay. Yeah, all right. Um, so, I mean, just straight up, like, how has the draft process been as of right now? Yeah, um... <laughs> Been kind of, kind of hectic, kind of stressful for real. Um, you know, between going to the Senior Bowl and, and going to the Combine and Pro Day, you know, there's a lot of eyes on you all the time. A lot of people asking you a lot of different questions. You know, you got, you know, people, you know, family members asking you, you know, how it's going. Are you going to get drafted? You know, who you're hearing from. So it's a lot of, a lot of voices in your head. Really, you just got to know how to just stay focused on, you know, you doing you and. I tell people, like, this is a time right now where, you, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to be, like, really selfish about my time or what I do just because, you know, so many people are pulling at you. But um, it's a blessing to be in this situation. You know, I know I've dreamed of this my whole life, dreamed of, you know, being at the combine or, you know, having a chance to get drafted. So I'm just making the most of it and um, I'm not letting the opportunity go to waste. Okay. Yeah, I, I, then you know what? Just hearing you say that, I thank you for taking the time out. To do no the problem. interview for me, yeah. yeah. I thank you for that, cause See, I you fam, you family, so you know what I'm saying. Got to make it work. Yeah, I, I, you know, cause I was sitting there, I was thinking like I was, I was contemplating of you know actually getting in touch with you, cause I'm like, yo, he's gonna be going through the draft process, and I, you know, I don't know yeah. how it's going, but I know that it's probably a lot, and I just, yeah. you know. I contemplated, man, but I said, you know, let me at least try just to see, you know, if he'd be cool with it and if it's okay. Uh, ain't no problem. Uh, thank you, seriously. Yeah. Um, where I'm at. So, uh, is there any team in the NFL that you would love to play for? Like, if you had a choice to, like, go to any team in the league, which one would you, like, love to play for? I mean, any any team would be great, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, don't, it doesn't matter to me. It's just an opportunity to play in the NFL. So, you know, whatever team that would give me the opportunity, I would love it and enjoy it, you know. You know, any city, you know, has has things to offer you and things for me to learn and for, things for me to grow and, and, you know, see different aspects of of the world and, and the country. So, you know what I'm saying? I would be blessed and honored to play for any team, really. Okay. Okay, I like that. Um, how would you describe yourself as a player, like your playing style? How would you, who would you say you are? Yeah, um, I play, I'm a really smart player and I'm just like very, um, instinctive. Um, I would say over the last three years in college football, I've probably been the most you know, productive mm-hmm. as far as tackles, sacks, um, you know, TFLs, making mm-hmm. big plays. I think. I've been able to do that just off pure, just, you know, smarts and, and, and you know, uh, just a feel for the game and, and instincts for the game. And um, that's carried me for a while. And uh, So, yeah, that's how, that's how I describe my playing style. That is very, very true. <laughs> very true. I mean, yeah, when, I, when I've seen, like, the tapes that I've seen, I'm just like, yeah, like, Micah, tackling, instincts. That I'm, I was actually – surprised by how many sacks you got as a middle linebacker. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, this yeah, Micah is good. Like yeah, yeah this is not hype. Like Micah is a really good player. 
Yeah, so that's what I'm just, you know, that's how also I would just describe myself as just like a football player. Um, you know, if you put me on a track, I may not be the fastest dude. I may not be the strongest dude, but I want to play football. You know, I'm going to always be around the ball, making plays mm-hmm. and making my team better. So that's just that's me, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm not to say this, though, you know, like. Yeah, you may not be the fastest player on the field, but in that 40-yard dash, you ran a 4.67, and that is pretty yeah. fast enough. <laughs> people, people doubted me on that, so, you know, combine, I went, did, you know, I think I did pretty well in the combine with the, the 40, the shuttle times, the L cone times, the jumping, mm-hmm. so I think I did pretty well on that stuff just to, you know, show that, you know, I got layers to the game, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yes. Yes, you definitely do. So um so getting into the draft a little bit, uh where will you be when the draft is happening and am I invited to ever if there's something <laughs> happening? <laughs> I'm gonna be at, I'm gonna be at home, so you know, so, so be there probably just low key, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm gonna have a stomach to be able to sit there and watch the draft the whole time though, just cause you know what I'm saying, knowing knowing what's at stake. So, mm-hmm. you know, it'll be at home, have some food and just chill. Okay. So, um, just, I guess, you know, I guess your agent tells you certain stuff and people around you tell you certain things about, um, what round do you expect it to possibly be drafted in? Probably, you know, later rounds that that's, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. But, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, Mm-hmm. I just need the opportunity, you know, even even if you go undrafted, there's plenty of people that go undrafted that go on and have great careers. Mm-hmm. At the at the senior bowl, Bart Scott talked to us, you know, Bart, Bart Scott made a crazy amount of money in this game and, and it made a huge impact in this game and he was undrafted player. So, you know what I'm saying, the, the best players are going to play in the league and um, it's just all about getting that opportunity. Yeah, I mean, shoot, I've, yeah, I would agree with that though. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of guys that undrafted that end up, even if they're not Hall of Famer or, or great, they still end up being really good in the league. You know what I mean? Zach, Zach Orr for the Ravens, oh, for the, a yeah. couple years ago, was all pro when undrafted. All pros in the second year, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to get to like some of that stuff a little bit later with a question. And, you know, unfortunately, what happened with him, um, you know, that was yeah. a devastation, but uh, my next question would be though, um, what was your, what has been your biggest hurdle, not just through like maybe the draft process, but through you know college too? What, what has been your biggest hurdle? Um, I mean, in college, I didn't, I wouldn't say I really had any, you know, hurdles. It's just, I mean, just finding an identity for yourself, and I guess just you know staying, staying the course. I mean, you, when you first get to college, you know, you get here, there's a lot of people ahead of you. Mm-hmm. A lot of, you know what I'm saying, you got to learn how to adjust and um, kind of know your role on the team at first as, like, a young guy. But, you know what I'm saying, I think I pretty much, you know, ironed out a, a way for myself and, and did, ended up doing pretty well here. So, you know, I've been things have been pretty smooth for me, you know, the last few years and all. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you would say, like, the biggest hurdle would be climbing the depth chart, I guess? Probably that and just yeah. being like being steadfast, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't start playing until my uh, red shirt sophomore year, so I had to wait, you know, three years really for me to start starting on defense. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stay patient mm-hmm. and uh just do whatever you can to help the team and then when your time when your numbers call, you know, go out there and do your thing. Okay. So, um all right, I like that. So what is your plans after football? Yeah, um, so I'm trying to play football, you know, as long as I can, as as long, you know, my body will allow me to, and you know, right. people in the league will let me. And then ultimately, I probably, you know, want to be an athletic director somewhere at a college, Ooh. and you know, have a, have an impact that way. So, oh wow, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Was there um. Was there any majors you had while you was at UVA? Yeah, I majored in foreign affairs for undergrad, so like political science, and then um, I started my grad grad uh, program in uh, higher education, so 
that, that I can do some athletic administration stuff with that. So, you know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. Yeah, man. You get a young, educated brother. You right. Know <laughs> young, educated brother. Right. <laughs> well, um, so I'm going to get to this, like, this last portion of this interview, right? And I wanted to save this for last because I feel as though this is a very important topic. Um, you know, you mentioned the name Zach Orr, and um, he had something that basically derailed his career, and he pretty much had to retire um, because of you know the medical issues. So basically, with like concussions and just like you know injuries, period. Um, especially this Ryan Shazier injury, does that like hang in the back of your mind? No, nah, I mean, you can't play a sport like this and, and think about getting injured because that's when it's going to happen. You know, you just got to go out there. You're doing what you love, so, you know, it's worth it. You know, um, you can get injured doing anything. You know, I've had injuries playing lacrosse, you know, injuries playing basketball, and, you know, injuries playing football as well, but it's just part of playing, you know, competitive athletic sports. And um, right now, you know, people are doing a lot of research on how to, you know, make it more safe. So, you know, the helmet mm-hmm. technology, the equipment technology, different rules and practice to make the game, you know, more safe. But, um, yeah, when I go out there, I don't think about getting hurt. You know, I just think about playing as hard as I can and playing passionately and, you know, just doing the best I can. And um, mm-hmm. not really worried about it, really. Okay. I mean, I just, you know, cuz it's, it's it's a, you know, it's a big thing especially in the NFL right now concussions. Um I'm not going to like go into like if you ever had one like to know. But is like if there was a study that had came out that said, you know, if you have suffered a concussion in football, even just the slightest and stuff like that, um that you would you could lose like, you know, years of your life or um, early dementia or Alzheimer's can develop because of that. Would that be something that would kind of hang in the back of your mind and say, I don't, you know, would you think about like not playing the sport anymore or would you just no, keep on doing it? Um, no, because like I said, you can get concussions playing any sport, you know. Um, mm-hmm. I know guys that had to, you know, medically retire from lacrosse because they got too many concussions in lacrosse and, and that's not nearly as physical as football, so. Right. You know, it is what it is part of it. Um, you know, I'm going to go out there, you know, and keep keep loving what I do. And um, like I said, I'm going to play as long as my body allows me to play. And um, I'm not really too worried about, you know, things that could happen, you know, maybe 40 years, you know, in the future. I'm not, you know, thinking that far ahead right now. So Right. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, just this is the last one. Um you know, this past year, you know, Zach Orr thing happened beginning of the season, and now you have this, like, um, Ryan Shazier thing. Like, what what did you think about, like, when that happened? Because that was, you know, he was a guy that he was making a tackle, and, uh-huh. yeah, you know, he got the spinal injury. Like, what did you think about that? Did, was that, yeah, you know, a talk very, around the locker room? That's very unfortunate, um, but we didn't really, you know, talk about it really. It's a, it was a freak accident. And um, those kind of things happen. Unfortunately, when you're playing a high collision sport, it's kind of like a, a car crash. You know, you can get in a car accident at any moment, and just like that, you know, Ryan Chazier just making a, a team play, and and you know, a freak accident happens. But um, you look at him; he's still trying to play now, and he went through that. So you know, what I'm saying I'm mm. a, I'm gonna be playing as well, and um. You can't, like I said, you can't play the game thinking about getting hurt because that's when it happens. You have to just go out there, play as hard as you can, and, um, you know, guys out there aren't trying to hurt each other, you know. They got a job to do, but at the end of the day, you know, everybody's, you know, trying to eat. Everyone has families out there, so, you know, you keep guys safe, but you're going to play as hard as you can, and if, you know, things like that happen, it's unfortunate, but that's, you know, that's what happens in the game. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Um, Last question. Is if there was any sport that you could have played besides football, what would it be? Um, my, so my favorite sport other than football is probably lacrosse. You know, I like lacrosse, like watching it, like playing it. So mm-hmm. if I wasn't doing that, I would have did that in college probably. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. 
All right, I like that answer. Okay, well, you know, that was the uh, last question for the interview. Um, just hang on real tight. Let me just close out real quick. All right. All right. So, uh, anyway, guys, that was Micah Kaiser, Virginia linebacker. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate. Please like the video, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Saturday, next video coming out will be about the linebackers. So we're going to get into that. Thank you for watching. Bye.